Hey guys, so today I have for you my first um, process video using a picture of me with my two cats back from when I was, um, I think it was in high school at this point. So right now I'm just looking through all my papers trying to figure out which to use and I know I'm going to use that the things we do together journaling card and that's from the Hello Again Cartabella journal cards paper. So I'm just going to cut it out, and then I'm going to put those journaling cards aside. And I'm using my August Scraptastic Classy Girls kit. So that's the darker peach color that came in the kit. And then I'm going to map my photo using this Fancy Pants Memories Captured Say Cheese paper, and that's the black and white checkerboard paper. So I'm just going to trim it up. And I'm actually having problems with my blade. Um, I think it's just dull and I think I just need a new blade because I've been using it so much lately. So you're just going to see me kind of go back and fix my cuts and just trim them up a little bit using my scissors. There we go. Pretty sure that's it. So we're just going to place that down. I'm not going to glue anything yet. Just going to leave everything free to roam about the page while I figure out what I want to do. And I know I'm going to use that Martha Stewart scallop doily type punch. I don't remember the actual name of it. And I'm also punching on the Cartabella Hello Again um, small floral paper. So I'm going to just cut out what I punched. And I ended up dropping the little blade on accident. So I'm just trying to figure out where it went and get it back and all that good stuff. But I got it back no problem. So just going to trim it to where I want it. And then I'm just going to put that right under my photo. So that is the October Afternoon Travel Girl stamp book paper and it's just the other side of that paper. And I'm also cutting up the um, that chevron paper that came from Studio Calico the Studio Calico Atlantic collection and that's the Atlantic City paper. And then I'm also just going to trim up this Cartabella Hello Again stripes paper and it's just a blue um, kind of watercolor looking paper. And then I realized that it was still 12 so I wanted to just trim it down a little and then overlap it with that stamp book paper. So now I've got all the papers that I want, so I'm just going to glue them all together. Still not going to glue to the background yet, so I can still just move everything around. And I like to just use a little bit of glue with my ATG. That way if I want to pull something up I can. And I'm just going to use my Tombow liquid aqua glue to glue that down to my mat. And now I'm going to just tuck that journaling card there, and I like it, so I'm just going to glue it down. And 
Now I'm trying to figure out what stickers I want to use and I'm going to layer that sticker you see there with another one and those are from the Cartabella Hello Again collection and those are the element stickers. I like the way that looks so I'm just going to stick that there. And that little label sticker is from the Fancy Pants Memories Captured label stickers, and those also came in the kit. And that one says My Loves on it. Sorry, you can hear my dog in the background. Um, that oh so lovely die cut is also from the collection, or from the kit. And I thought about using my Heidi Swap Color Shine on it, but then decided against it and just left it as white. And I was trying to figure out what else to do. I thought about that Studio Calico bow, but decided against it. I'm just looking through some things right now to figure out what I want to do next. And I'm going to use that October afternoon tidbit from the Travel Girl collection. And then I was looking for a stamp, but I didn't have anything small enough, so I just decided to write on it using my Zig Millennium Writer. And so I think I've got everything where I want it, so I'm just going to, oh, nope, I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape. And the washi tape I use is a blue polka dot, and it's from Recollections. I'm not sure what the real name of it is, though. So now I'm going to glue everything down to my background paper. And I should have used less of my ATG because now I'm going to fiddle with it because it's not where I wanted it. And I'm going to fiddle with it again. It's just the last time, I promise and so it's stuck right where I want it now. So I'm just going to go back and glue down some of the sides. Now I'm going to add a bit more of that same washi tape just to the other side of my picture and then glue down a little bit more I'm going to take that same washi tape and stick it up in the corner just to give that corner a little bit of pop. And then I'm just going to trim off the sides. And now I'm just going to go through and figure out what else I can put up there with that washi tape. And I think about using this, but then I decided something better. So, yep, I was going to layer those two stickers and then trim off the excess again. And then just use that Cartabella Element sticker. And so I'm ready to place my title. So I'm just going to figure out and make sure that I have enough letters to spell out what I want to use with those ones. And those are the Dear Lizzie Treasure Thickers. So I'm just pulling out my wax paper to place those down on so I can figure out where I want it um, on the actual layout. 
But for a title, I'm just using um, my two cats' names. And yes, there are two cats in that picture. And their names were Tugger and Teaser. Um, I actually cut their names from the Broadway musical Cats. Um, Tugger was Rum Tum Tugger, and Teaser was Rumple Teaser. But we got Tugger before we got Teaser. Had I known that I was going to get a second cat and name it Teaser, I probably would have named the first one Mungo Jerry. Because that's... That was the other cat and the two of them. There were there were two that um, they made a song title. I think it was called Mungo Jerry and Rumple Teaser. So, and those are the Jelly Bean Soup Alpha Beans and Blueberry Teal that I used for and. And I thought about putting it up there, but decided against it. And that's where it's going to go. And I really love those thickers. They're so pretty. Um, they're just a corally color, and they have a little bit of glitter in them. And in the background, if you're looking really closely, it looks like they're printed on like a newsprint. It's so pretty. I like that there's more than just that one element of just looking straight on it and then you, you you look a little closer and you think you see just the tiny black writing and it's really pretty so now I'm just looking to see if I want to add anything else and I think I'm gonna call this layout pretty much done except for a little bit of journaling that I'm going to add And again, that's using my Zig Millennium Writer in pure black. But I think that's pretty much it for this layout. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way that I was able to film this process video, so hopefully you'll see more coming soon. But now I'm just going to show you some close-ups. I know I have a few more haul posts to do. But that's it for today, guys.